Now, the president of the Turkish Football Federation, the TFF, Nihat Özdemir, has announced that the Turkish Super League will resume play on the 12th of June, with all football activities in the country having been suspended on March 18 due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now, they are still hoping that the Champions League finals can also be played on their soil. I'll be speaking with Pascal Lumbe, who will be joining me all the way from Turkey this morning to speak on this matter. Good to have you with us, Pascal. Uh, good morning, Udoka. How are you doing today? I'm very well. Well, we hear that the league will go on as planned and be restarted on the 12th of June. Now, what measures are they taking to ensure the safety of the players and the clubs? Uh, exciting times are back once more. You know, football fans can't wait to uh, witness their football teams uh, express themselves on the field of play. Now, looking at the decision made last week, uh, from the TFF that football will surely be kicking off on the 12th of June. It's a very uh, good one, but uh, measures have surely been put in place uh, to make sure that uh, things go very well. Now, first of all, we know uh, that across the world and other leagues that have uh, happened, uh, that have started rather, uh, uh, the, the, the thing of having five substitutes in a game have surely been said as going to happen. And also, uh, this is going to apply to the Turkish Cup. Uh, too. Now, uh, they also say that if the number of eligible players for any team uh, falls below 14 due to the coronavirus, uh, the team's match uh, will be delayed. And uh, also, the set players and staff in the bench area should uh, leave at least two seats empty uh, between each other and anyone with temperature uh, of 7.8 degrees centigrade higher will not be allowed to enter at the stadium. This is a good one, I must tell you. Now, how about the fans? Are we going to be seeing a lot of football fans uh, on, the, on the football pitch? And if there will, will there be a lot of testing to be done? Uh, not at all. Fans are not going to be allowed because uh, the games will be held behind closed doors. Uh, as we all know, uh, it's a precaution that is not just in Turkey, but also has been applied around the world. Mm. Now, let's talk about um, the other leagues that have been called off. Uh, uh, would you say they were too fast to call off the season, or was it a good decision? Because most of the other leagues are beginning to restart their leagues, but the likes of um, the Belgium uh, League, there's also the French League on, they called their leagues off. Would you say they were too fast to make that decision? Uh, you know, when you take a look at the situation on the ground and you take a look at what teams have to uh, spend as well as also lose, uh, if they have to continue the leagues, you know, you, you have no option but to reason with them. Uh, it's been a very challenging time for most clubs. They've been paying salaries, they've not been making money. And uh, you can't just uh, uh, argue with them, but argue with them, maybe just end the league and wait till next season. Oh. Now, looking at the Champions League finals, do you still think the Champions League final will be played in Turkey because they are being hopeful at the moment? Uh, looking at uh, resumption of football out here, it's uh, a good sign. You know, it shows that there's light at the end of the tunnel, uh, that uh, football will surely be coming back. Uh, or rather, Champions League football will be coming back. Uh, so far, the precautions and, uh, will surely be uh, followed appropriately. I believe that the Champions League will surely come back to our screens, as well as the players getting back to the football pitch. Mm.